Hello, everybody. It's Eric Songer with you, and this is our weekly podcast of what's going on in the Chaska Middle School West Band Department for the week of April 7th. I always feel like I should come up with some kind of theme song or some kind of like little, you know, thing that they have for sitcoms at the beginning of these. So, but instead, it's just me with a very roughly edited podcast. But there's a lot of great information coming your way right now, and it's been an exciting week here at CMSW in the band department, and lots of great stuff going on or coming up as usual. So uh, hopefully you can stay tuned and hear about everything here in the next 10 minutes or so in our weekly podcast. So I wanted to start with um, <clears throat> the band lesson uh, information for the week. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can always check out our band lesson schedule online on the school website. It's also on uh, your Google Classroom account. And if you haven't signed up for Remind, uh, it's a great way to get information about what's going on. Uh, I'll just quickly take you through the lesson schedule for the week of April 10th, uh, starting with Monday and our sixth graders, Low Brass in 6A, our coming uh, second hour, and then percussion halfway through second hour at 845 for the sixth grade 8A band. Then the 6th uh, grade A day flutes at the beginning of 3rd hour, the 6th grade A day clarinets at 9.40, 3rd hour. And then 4th hour, beginning of the hour, 6th grade A day uh, saxophones, followed by all the 6th grade French horns at 10.30, 4th hour on Monday. And then we'll have the first year group coming at the beginning of 5th hour on Monday, followed by the social fifthlets after lunch, 5th hour on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we're going to have the saxophones come right at the beginning of the day from the 6th grade B-Day band, and then the trumpets at 7.55 from uh, all 6th grade bands on Tuesday. And then the 10 girls group at the beginning of 2nd hour Tuesday, followed by our bass guitar lesson at 8.45, 2nd hour on Tuesday. And then the 6th grade B-Day low brass, beginning of 3rd hour on Tuesday, followed by the 6th grade B-Day percussion at 9.40. And then the 6th grade B-Day flutes at the beginning of 4th hour and the 6th grade B-Day clarinets at 10.30 on Tuesday. And then looking ahead to Wednesday, our 7th grade lessons, mainly 7th grade, but some other ones as well. 7th uh, grade saxophones, beginning of 1st hour on Wednesday. Then the trumpets, 7th grade and French horns at 7.55 on Wednesday, 1st hour. Uh, remember, uh, Wednesday and Thursday this week are seven period days, so then we look ahead to second hour on Wednesday, and we have the Hip Hop Electronica group at the beginning of the hour. Then our drum set lesson is the beginning of third hour, and the songwriting lesson at 9.40, third hour on Wednesday. And then the Elise, Natalie, Lucy group is the beginning of fourth hour on Wednesday. And then finally, looking ahead to Thursday, we have the Spice Girls at the beginning of first hour Thursday. The 7th grade low brass beginning of second hour, followed by the 7th grade percussion halfway through second hour on Thursday. That would be at 8.45. The Bland Boys meeting the beginning of the hour on uh, third hour on Thursday. And then finally the flutes beginning of fourth hour in 7th grade and the clarinets halfway through 10.30, fourth hour on Thursday for the 7th grade. There are no lessons on Friday for the 8th grade because there's no school on Friday, April 14th. Um, and I already told you about the schedule. Uh, this is the first of three consecutive weeks where we have all seven period days, so we have no blocks now for a while. Uh, let me give you the after school schedule too coming up this week. We are starting up the Latin Mariachi Band on Monday, April 10th. Very excited about that. This is open to anybody who'd like to come. Uh, you don't have to have any prior experience. And we're going to meet from 2.30 to 3.15 on Mondays through the week before Memorial Day, uh, skipping April 17th. And uh, there's no cost to anybody. We're mainly looking for people who would like to play guitar or sing or play some Latin percussion, uh, trumpet, violin, but we'll take people on other instruments as well. So really looking forward to having the mariachi band starting up on Monday, April 10th. The 8th grade jazz band will be meeting after school on Wednesday, April 12th. There is no rhythm section the morning of April 13th. I will not be here. There will, however, be honor band after school on the 13th. Uh, Mrs. Ford will be directing that. And then finally, uh, the Morning Star DJs will be having Amy on Monday and Madeira on Tuesday and Caleb on Wednesday. So looking forward to those guys DJing at breakfast and maybe at lunch as well. Um, looking a little bit ahead to uh, the rest of April and even peeking into May a little bit at some of the performances coming up, a lot of fun things coming up. We have the 8th grade jazz band trip to the Eau Claire Jazz Festival and that will be taking place on Saturday, April 22nd. 8th grade jazz band members should be getting in their permission slips and their $20. 
uh, to me or Mrs. Ford as soon as you can for that trip. We're probably going to be meeting at 7.30 a.m. and getting back at 9 p.m. I haven't gotten the schedule yet for um, when we're performing, so that might affect things a little bit. However, I do foresee us getting back at 9 p.m. Uh, it's just that leaving time might be adjusted a little bit, but 7.30 is a really good guess at this point. And so we're really looking forward. Eau Claire has the uh, biggest collegiate jazz festival in the Midwest, and it's just a wonderful experience for our students. So really looking forward to that. And then uh, coming up after that, we have the State Honor Band on Sunday, April 23rd, and that will be at Chanhassen High School, which is really convenient for our District 112 kids. And that will be at 2 p.m. And this year we have five students from CMSW performing in the State Honor Band. Uh, Lauren Gazinski on flute, Bobby Belairs on alto saxophone, Lily Paul on baritone saxophone, Sage Martin on euphonium, and Hannah Olson on euphonium. So really uh, looking forward to seeing those kids play. Congratulations to them. They'll be rehearsing all day on April 22nd in preparation for that concert. Uh, also coming up in April, we have our 8th grade band trip to the MMEA Band Festival at Southview Middle School in Edina, run by the incredible Geneva Fitzsimmons. And we will be leaving uh, right at the beginning of the day for that trip and then uh, warming up, performing in front of other middle school bands, and then receiving a clinic. And then we get to hear some middle school bands perform before going out to Mall of America for lunch and then getting back by the end of the school day to catch the buses home. So that should be a really fun day. There's also a permission slip for that for all 8th grade band members, but there's no money involved. Uh, the only money portion of that trip is we ask the kids to bring some money so they can buy lunch at the mall. They could also bring a bag of lunch too if they'd rather. Uh, also coming up in April, we have our Soul and Ensemble Festival, which will be on Saturday, April 29th at Pioneer Ridge Middle School this year. It'll be running from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We have many, many students who are wanting to participate in that, and I am very, very hastily working on getting that schedule together. Hopefully by the time you have watched this podcast, you will have your time. Um, I, but April 10th is kind of the, the day I now have targeted to get all that information out. And once you hear about when your performance time is, we can definitely still change those. So it doesn't, it's not in stone. So, um, but again, those are 10 minute time slots or so an ensemble where the kids go and play a solo or a small ensemble in front of a judge and get a rating and get some feedback. And so it's, it's kind of a competition, but it's also uh, a great learning tool that we use. And it's also a good foreshadowing of what the kids do when they're in high school band and do this through the state high school league. And then finally in April we have our uh, second year honor band that's also at Southview Middle School in Edina and we will have seven kids performing in that honor band. Uh, Bethany Gaston and Hope Greer on clarinet, uh, Abby Owusu on bass clarinet, and then we will also have um, Valerie Rakatumalala on the uh, trumpet and Anna Hulk on percussion, Caleb Smith on French horn, and I am missing somebody, I think. Oh, this is gonna bother me if I can't think of the other person, but maybe I got everybody, is that seven? I, I, uh, I kinda lost count when I was reading them off there. So, but those kids will be performing in the, uh, oh, Keegan Cummings, Keegan Cummings! Oh, how could I forget about Keegan? Keegan is such an awesome Barry Sachs player. So Keegan will also be in that group. So so that'll be happening on Saturday, April 29th, and they'll be giving a concert at South um, Southview Middle School at noon. And then just one more thing as we peek ahead to May, our spring band concert for all three bands will be on Tuesday, May 16th, and the 8th grade band will kick things off with a catered spaghetti dinner at 5 p.m. where some chamber groups will play in the cafeteria, and then we will uh, adjourn down to the large gym for the concert at 6. 7th grade band concert will be at 7, and the 6th grade band concert will be at 8. So more info on that coming soon. Um, just some news from this past week. Lots of cool things going on. We had a great big band extravaganza concert on Tuesday, April 4th in the large gym, which featured all three of our jazz bands at CMSW, an alumni jazz band. So great to see so many alumni come back and play in that, that gr group. That was so cool. And then uh, Mrs. Ford's professional band she plays in called the Swing Sisterhood Big Band. Uh, they, were, they were just killing it. What a great performance by uh, that band. So it was really cool to have them come out and play for us. So uh, congratulations to all of our jazz band members, and it's the end of our season, which is sad. Uh, the 8th grade jazz band still has that Eau Claire trip, so we're looking forward to that. 
Um, I mentioned the uh, second year honor band, so so that's really cool news for all those kids. Um, also some cool news for our school, the National Association of Music Merchants, otherwise known as NAM, which is a group that a lot of um, professional musicians, uh, whether they're performers, teachers, music store owners, producers, people in the business uh, are a part of. Um, they every year name the top schools for music education, K-12. This year they announced 92 schools. And we, Cheska Middle School West, were one of those 92 schools in the country for uh, best schools for uh, learning music. And it's the third year in a row we've made that list. So that's something that I'm very proud of. And I always tell the kids, can't do that without all of you. Can't do that without everything that you do to make our programs what they are. So a huge shout out to all the students. And then lastly, I just want to mention, um, there's just a lot of cool uh, bonus lessons and recording projects and uh, video projects that are going on right now and uh, a lot of these projects are in the works and they will hopefully be concluded by the end of the school year. Um, but just this past week to kind of give you some examples of things, uh, I was just listening again to some of our eighth grade production projects that they did second trimester and, and some of them are just absolutely amazing. You would think that these were done by professional musicians. So I'm so impressed with the work that the eighth graders did on that project. Um, had a couple seventh grade groups this week. The Spice Girls did a recording session, which was really, really fun and a good, great experience for those kids. And uh, the, the answer to the Spice Girls is our group called the Bland Boys, another seventh grade group. Uh, they just rehearsed for the first time. Rick Astley's never going to give you up. And that's a week after doing Toto's Africa. So I'm having a blast doing all these 80s tunes that seriously, it was their choice, not mine. So it's cool having them pick those songs. And next week, we're going to do Sweet Child of Mine. So it just gets more and more fun. So, so anyway, so many cool things. I could go on and on about some of the other groups in, in, in all three grades. Um, Elise Wilson, Natalie Dolan, and Lucy Wentink just got done doing a recording session doing uh, their their version of Razor Glass uh, by Pink. So that's really cool and they're gonna start another tune. So anyway, I should probably stop and just let you go about your business. You got the info you needed and uh, now I'm just uh, making you wish you could hear all these things and you can't yet because they're not ready, but they will be soon. So, all right, follow me on Twitter at CMSW Band. Um, go to our website, district112.org and go to CMSW and then find the band stuff. Uh, sign up for text alerts through Remind by sending the message uh, at 16-17 band 6 or at 16-17 band 7 or at 16-17 band 8 to the number 81010. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for listening and um, have a wonderful week, everybody. And we'll see you again next week for a very special CMSW What's Happening in the Band Department podcast. Adios.